Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone, wherever you are in this world. I just want to welcome you all to the 2022 Zuper Partner Connect Conference. So thank you all very, very much for attending. My name is Michael Israel. I am the uh, head of evangelism for field service at Zuper. And it is my great pleasure to introduce to you Anand Subaraj. And I believe many of you may know Anand already. Anand is the founder and the CEO of uh, Zuper. So Anand, welcome to the event yourself. And I turn it over to you. Thank you, Michael. Super excited to be here in the second edition of our Zuper Partner Connect. Firstly, I want to thank you all. It's a big thank you from all of us to this wonderful community that we are building. The community that's helping us and our customers to Zooperize their business and offer Zooper experience to the customers. I got introduced to this term VUCA a few years back. And it was super intriguing for me to understand the acronym of VUCA, which essentially stands for volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. And this acronym was first introduced to the world by the US War College. And they use this to represent the war situation. It's volatile because it's almost always unpredictable. It's uncertain because in a war you cannot really plan. Whenever you know, a certain plan is put in, the enemy can change the plan and there is a lot of uncertainty. It's complex because there are many variables. It's geopolitical, different terrain, different culture, arms and so forth. And it's ambiguous because there is no way to really plan for it. You need to continue to evolve the strategies depending on how the situation evolves. This is essentially the fog of the war. And when I was thinking about how to represent the current situation that we are living in, there is no better way to represent that without this. We are living in a VUCA world and the business environment that we are dealing with is a VUCA environment. And the strategic leaders like us, we are supposed to navigate this environment, navigate the uncertainties and ensure that we are bringing clarity, composure and calmness in the chaos that's prevailing. First, it was COVID a few years earlier, the biggest crisis mankind has ever seen and encountered. Now it's inflation, supply chain issues, Ukraine war, not even sure whether to call this a recession or not a recession, but there are many different aspects that are creating the uncertainty, volatility, complexity, and ambiguity to everything that we are dealing with. And essentially, businesses are going through significant transition to deal with this situation. And business leaders are supposed to provide this calmness and clarity during this time. Digital transformation is no longer a choice. It is essential. It is existential. Digital transformation is the deflectionary force in this inflectionary economy today. It is the only way for organizations to deal with the headwinds that are confronted in this world today and navigate through the VUCA world and the VUCA business environment. Digital transformation is what is going to differentiate organizations that are going to prosper and the organizations that are left behind. The world is not going to be same in the next 10 years what it was in the last 10 years. Every business, every organization, every industry is going to go through this digital transformation, improving efficiencies, 
providing the best customer experiences and do more with less. And that is going to be the norm of the day. And collectively, we, this community, we are going to help our customers go through this journey and differentiate themselves from the rest. Customer service has evolved. Customer expectations have evolved. Today, we are living in a world where from food delivery to ride hailing, every aspect of dealing with a service organization is changing. And customers expect that seamless end-to-end -end experience, whether they are dealing with a ride hailing service or lawn mowing or lawn care service or any other service that you can think of. And business leaders are recognizing the fact that customer service is a brand differentiator. And in a survey that was run by Microsoft recently, they identified that a staggering 58% of the surveyors, of the participants in the survey, mentioned that they are going to cut ties to a brand due to poor customer service or customer experience. And a lot of us have encountered this similar situation. Poor customer service was a reason why we started Zupa. And I know a lot of us go through significant amount of pain because we don't expect or don't get the right customer service or customer experience from the organizations that we are dealing in day in and day out. And 90% of participants in the survey mentioned that customer service becomes synonymous with the brand. And customer service is the way for the brand to differentiate themselves from the rest. And we are going to talk a lot about customer expectations and customer service through the rest of this talk. Now let's distill that down to service organizations. Service organizations are our customers. They're going through a lot of challenges and pain points. They have to deal with customer acquisition, managing their brand, but also deal with this paradigm shift and this new landscape of offering that best experience to their customers. And not just that, dealing with every other variables that we just looked into in this VUCA world and the VUCA business environment, dealing with shortage of labor, dealing with supply shortages, increasing costs, the need to perform this digital transformation and offer that amazing experience to their customers. And like I said, it is our responsibility collectively to ensure that we are helping these organizations transform and evolve their business and offer that amazing experience to their customers. We are talking a lot about service organizations and field service is essentially optimizing the use of resources that are either en route or operating at, a, at their customer's location out of a physical business address. We spoke about ride hailing services. We spoke about food delivery services, how they have changed the entire paradigm of customer experience. And I also mentioned every customer that are dealing with a service organization are now expecting that customer experience. And optimizing field service for an organization enables them to manage their resources, improve productivity, and offer that exceptional experience to their customers. And we are going to empower businesses to go through this transformation, streamline their processes, manage complex projects, jobs, work orders, ensuring that it meets all the safety and regulatory compliance and requirements. Offer that enhanced customer experience, improve collaboration across the teams that are either operating on the field or back office. Empowering that technicians with the right experience and the right um, experience and the right tools and enabling them to efficiently
we manage the operations. Now let's look into why Zooper. Why Zooper is the right platform for us to help organizations transform to this situation and be ahead of the game. We are building the number one field service management platform for fast growing companies. And here are some validations from some of the industry leading channels, G2, Captera, and others. We have been the leader in G2 for mid-market field service management. And we have received a number of these badges, easiest to use, high performer, easiest admin, best usability. Our customers love us. And we continue to evolve to ensure that we are meeting the requirements of our customers and we meet the requirements of our partners. Our mission and vision, Zuper means extremely super. Our mission is to empower every field service professional with technology to be the best in their area of expertise and turn them into Zuper professionals and enable organizations to provide Zuper experience to their customers. And our vision is to build the world's most powerful and capable field service management solution. And let's look into how we are going to accomplish our mission. There are two ways, two aspects to this. Number one, we are building the most flexible and customizable platform for field service management. And number two, it's you, our vibrant community. We are going to talk a lot about our community through the rest of the day. And we'll also showcase the power and flexibility of the Zuper platform. In terms of our platform itself, it's an end-to-end -end suite of capabilities that help organization manage all aspects of their service business. At the heart of what we offer is called as an intelligent work order management system. Scheduling, dispatching, location intelligence, invoice estimation, asset management, contract management, payments, mobile application, and all these different aspects of our suite ensure organizations can dispatch the right person at the right place with the right knowledge at the right time, every time, and ensure that they are delighting their customers in every possible interaction. And we are building this as a platform. We have the flexibility and customizability to ensure businesses are able to run their operations with the expertise that they have built over time. Our tagline is field service management or field service your way. Work your way. And we have seen a lot of businesses, they have built this expertise and experience and processes over time. And when they deploy a tooling or deploy a platform, it attempts to change the way business operate. It attempts to change their processes. And in doing so, it feels enforced. And a lot of customers that we speak to, they tell us that they essentially don't improve their productivity, but it feels that it is actually impacting their productivity in a negative way because they are no longer able to adopt to the processes that they have built over time. With Zuper, we enable businesses to run their operations using their expertise in the way that they envision to run their business. But we offer Zuper powers to the organization to power their workflows with our industry leading app marketplace. We have 60 plus integrations with top CRMs, ERP, accounting payments, and many, many other tools. The goal is to enable and empower the organization's workflows, whether these are workflows that are going to improve efficiencies or offer automations. With Zuper, businesses are not just digitizing their workflows, but optimizing and automating their workflows. And last but not the least, on-demand experience is something that is very close to our heart. 
we want to ensure that every business in every industry that's using Zupa is able to offer that, that on-demand experience that their customers are expecting and improve that customer loyalty, drive customer impact, and be successful in their business. Our customer success is our success. And we want to ensure that we are offering every possible experience and tooling that is required for our customers to be successful with their customers. And we are going to talk a lot about this connected community. We are building an amazing community. It's you, our partners, reseller partners, system integrator partners, our customers, the app marketplace that I spoke about, our audience of the amazing podcasts that we are creating over the last few months, and an incredible academy that we are putting together to offer best practices, patterns, and training. Collectively, this is the connected community that is going to ensure each one of our customers can be successful in their journey, whether this is a digital transformation journey or optimization of the workflow journey or the journey to offer that best experience to their customers, we collectively, this connected community is going to help our customers do more with less. I mentioned about our app marketplace. We are building a platform. We have APIs, webhooks. It is flexible. It is customizable and it can integrate with any organization's tech stack. I was talking to a customer recently and during the discussion, I happened to ask this customer, why did they select Zupa? And the feedback from the customer was that Zupa is like the Android of field service management. It can integrate with my organization's tech stack. It has a huge ROI or return of investment and faster time to value. And that is exactly the way I would have represented Zupa. And I would have represented how Zupa differentiates from the competition out there. It is not just a product, it is a suite of capabilities that enables you to empower your customers and build that end-to-end -end experience to offer that digital transformation, to ensure that they are able to do more with less. There are 60 plus amazing integrations in our app marketplace. And these are some of the premium integrations with leading CRM platforms. HubSpot Sales and Service Hub. HubSpot is not just our partner. They also happen to be one of our investors. Same with Zendesk. Zendesk has been amazing. They have been an incredible partner for the last several years. And we are the recommended field service management in each one of these ecosystems. Zoho, we have been working with every Zoho products. Zoho is a suite of product, and we are going to look into how we integrate with the capabilities that are offered by each one of these different large ecosystems. And we have our amazing partners, and then we have these ecosystems that we connect with, and we connect with the community that the ecosystem offers, complementing those communities, and ensure that we are offering a best of breed field service management capability that can integrate with each one of these different ecosystem providers with best practices and patterns, and complement their capabilities, and enable their customers to get more out of our platform. And there are exciting new premium integrations. We continue to evolve our app marketplace with amazing integrations. And these are integrations based on what we hear from our customers. Ystack enables us to offer a consumer financing experience to our customers. And this was one of the leading feedback from our customers that they require consumer financing and they want to provide their customers with consumer financing option. And we brought in consumer financing capabilities in the platform and our partnership with Ystack. Field Nation offers the best marketplace in North America for B2B 
technicians and B2B workforce. There are field engineers, there are field technicians and other skilled workforce in the Field Nation platform. It enables organizations to complement their workforce with on-demand gig workforce. We integrate with Field Nation in a first-class native way so that our customers can not just leverage their W-2 workforce or 1099s, but can leverage the on-demand gig workforce and enable them to ensure that they are able to leverage all these workforce to offer a better experience to their customers. And we continue to integrate with collaboration tools, Slack, and many other collaboration tools that we have integrated. We have evolved our integration with Slack based on top feedback that we have been receiving from our customers. Zooper is used by customers in 30 plus different countries. We have customers across different industry verticals. IKEA is our flagship customer. They have been using Zooper for the last several years. They use Zooper to manage their in-house workforce for assembly and installation. IKEA started using Zooper in one of their stores in Hyderabad, India. And now IKEA is using Zooper globally. And that is the kind of relationship that we are building with each one of our customers. Our customers are our partners in this journey. And each one of these logos that you see here, we have built an amazing relationship with all of these customers. And you are going to hear a lot from some of these customers throughout the day on how they are transforming their business with Zooper and our integration with suite of applications that their business uses. And I'm going to touch upon some of these customers to talk about their scenarios. I mentioned about IKEA, how they are managing their in-house workforce of assemblers and installers. In North America and US, when, you, when we buy a furniture from IKEA, it is do it yourself when it comes to assembly and installation. But there are some parts of the world where their customers do not want to assemble or install the furnitures that they are buying from IKEA. In which case, IKEA has been offering this as a premium service so that their customers can benefit and customers do not have to deal with the challenge of assembling or installing. And required IKEA to manage their workforce, to improve their productivity and utilization and Uberize that experience for their customers. And Zooper is the platform that integrates with IKEA supply chain system, their point of sale system, and their ERP systems to enable them to improve that productivity and utilization of their workforce and to Uberize their customer experience. Karsher is one of the largest provider of commercial grade cleaning equipments. They offer installation, maintenance, and break fixes or repairs of those products that they sell. They require the best of breed field service management to ensure that they're not just managing their in-house workforce, but they manage the external service providers and manage the interactions, manage the collaboration and offer that best experience to their customers. They looked into many different products. They finally selected Zooper. And now Zooper is deployed around the globe for CarShare to ensure that they are able to offer the best experience to their customers. They're also able to optimize the use of their resources. They use Zooper for managing the assets. They use Zooper for managing the contracts. They use Zooper for managing the entire life cycle of the work orders. ProVigil is one of the largest security and surveillance provider in the US for businesses. And very similar to Karsha, they have these scenarios of installation, maintenance, and break fixes or repairs. And they are using Zooper that is connected with Zendesk, connected with Salesforce, connected with many other systems that ProVigil has today to empower them to manage the productivity and utilization of their workforce, irrespective of where they exist, and offer that experience to their customers. 
And we are going to look into a lot of these other customer situations like Trim, PDI Health, Origem. Origem is the largest provider of EV motorcycle in Brazil. And they are now using Zuper to manage their services and repairs of those motorcycles and all other EV infrastructure that they provide. And there are some major, major other logos that you see here on the slides. And as I said, we are going to look into all these customers, a lot of these customer stories, and walk through how they are using Zuper to, to, to get into their journey of digital transformation and improve their productivity and utilization of their workforce. And here is a testimonial from ProVigil. I mentioned about ProVigil. Um, they are one of the largest surveillance provider in the US for commercial businesses. And Zuper not just helped them improve the bottom line, but also with their top line. It has helped them optimize their resources. It has helped them gain, gain better insights from the field operations. And it has allowed them to improve collaboration with different teams and different departments within the organization. I'm going to play a video of ProVigil on how Zuper is helping them transform their business. I'm uh, Miles Oswald, Chief Financial Officer of ProVigil. I've been with the organization about a little over four years. Uh, currently oversee all domestic and international uh, finance and operation components of the business. So as a business, we've experienced a significant amount of growth um, over the past two years. Uh, and it really became apparent uh, that we were um, experiencing some growing pains in optimizing our, our workflows um, and the ways that our platforms communicated. Uh, Zuper really provided us an opportunity uh, to get all of those platforms integrated, uh, help streamline our workflows, uh, drive greater asset utilization, um, eliminate uh, redundant field service visits um, and really streamline the, uh, the customer experience for us. Hi, my name is Quentin Peterson and I'm the field service manager at ProVigil. I've been with the company six weeks and my job is to manage uh, all of our field technicians uh, uh, with ProVigil, Field Nation, as well as authorized service providers. What Zuper will be able to do for us is, is give us the ability to uh, not only schedule based on skill set, but also have a, a visual uh, calendar for each technician that uh, allows our dispatchers to accurately predict when our technicians are gonna uh, be on site so that we can, we can have a very short window um, with our customer uh, guaranteeing when we're gonna be on site. And that's a huge plus for our customers to have the, the, the comfort and confidence to know that when their systems go down, um, you know, ProVigil is going to be there for them and be there quickly. And, and a lot of that has to do with, with our dispatch system in Zuper. Hi, I'm Stacy Kamish. I'm the accounting manager here at ProVigil. My function here, I handle accounts payable, month end close, payroll, fleet management, um, inventory control. Zuper is going to be an integral piece of our business growth. It's going to allow us to tie in all the loose ends, um, gain maximum visibility of everything we're putting into a customer site from labor, inventory, rolling up to the fixed asset level. That's going to allow us to real time see what pieces and parts are on each site, which will aid in the field service piece, the repair piece, service piece, really is just gonna tie all the different departments of ProVigil into one place. Zuper offers a, a number of demonstrable uh, benefits uh, to, to any business. Uh, for us, um, we're expecting um, some material ROI in the wake of our field service. Um, baked into our, our operating plans, uh, we anticipate uh, anywhere from a, a 1.5 point to a two-point improvement in our gross margins. Um, and that's not in, even including uh, the optimization of our uh, fixed asset utilization, um, which lowers storage costs, which lowers cap uh, capital expenditure requirements across the organization. Um, holistically, uh, Zuper has provided us a path to become just a much more well-rounded business, both from a P&L as well as a, uh, a balance sheet perspective. My name is Manuel Rios. I'm a special projects manager here at ProVigil. I have been with the company for 14 years. When I'm out in the field, the most important tools that I need to get the job done is, of course, good resources. I need a good application, good laptop, 
Uh, hand tools, of course, but you always want to have a good software. And on, nowadays, we pull it up on the phone. Then we have a good app. Then we pull it up on the phone. We'll see the history, what happened in this unit, what I'm about to do. And then I'll be able to save it, what I did. So the person behind me, if I'm not there, they'll be able to do it too. So, and we need good resources. And all comes with communication. So everything's communicated through, through a good application. Hi, my name is Amanda Harris, and I'm the AR supervisor here at Pro Vigil. I've been here seven years and have taken lead on the project management of our super integration. Here at Pro Vigil, we do have many different departments that use um, different systems. And whether it be the, the CRM, ERP system, we were looking for something to pull together all the information to be housed within one system. Um, and Zuper is able to do this for us. We presented them with some challenges that we were encounter encountering and they were able to, you know, replicate those workflows within Zuper from beginning to end very seamlessly. Working with Zuper has been an absolute pleasure. Uh, the team uh, from start to finish um, has, has truly been phenomenal. The uh, level of support, the amount of customizations, um, and just the general problem solving of the implementation um, has been uh, bar none the best experience that I've had um, with uh, any type of implementation from ERP, CRM, any platform. This has hands down been the most smooth um, that, that I've personally been a part of and witnessed. That's an incredible story with an amazing customer. Like you heard, they love the partnership, the collaboration, and we are working with six different departments in this organization. And they have not just used Zuper to manage their workflows on the field, but they have used Zuper to improve the collaboration, coordination across all these different departments, whether this is the production department, finance department, the project management department, dispatchers, workforce on the field, collaboration and integration with Field Nation to enable them to leverage that on-demand gig workforce and to integrate all their other different systems, whether those are CRM systems, ticketing systems, ERP systems. That is what we are building today. We are building the best platform out there for field service management that integrates with organizations tech stack, our app marketplace and the applications and integrations that we offer. These are native integrations that help our customers achieve the success that they're looking to, to improve their top level, top line and bottom line of their business. And to our amazing set of partners, we have grown our partner network, our partner community over the last few years. We started with only a couple of partners. And now in the last two years, we have partners around different parts of the world. We have partners and the community is helping our customers to build these solutions that we are talking about and ensure that they are applying the best practices. They're able to transform their business with technology. And like I said, our theme is do more with less, improving that productivity and the pursuit of excellence. And this is exactly what we are enabling our collective customers to do with the platform that we are building and Zooperize their business. And I want to take this opportunity again to thank you all for being there with us in this journey. And this journey has just begun. We are here to transform these businesses, to take on this challenges encountered by service industries around the globe. And collectively together, we are going to enable each service organizations in the world to offer that customer experience and ensure that they are successful in their journey. And this is a testimonial from one of our partners, Lumio. They have been an amazing partner in Quebec. They onboarded our platform and onboarded as a partner about a year back. 
And they were very quick to ramp up on the platform. Prior to Zooper, they were a Zoho partner offering um, you know, CRM capabilities, best practices to their customers. As they identified, there was a gap in the field service management um, in the CRM suite of capabilities that they were offering. We collaborated with them. We rammed them up on the platform. And now they are able to offer this solutions to their customers. They're able to offer best practices on field service management. They can integrate Zooper with any other applications that they work with and ensure that, that you know, their customers are successful and they're also collaborating with other partners to offer the experience and expertise that they have built on Zooper. And this is just one example. There are many such examples of partners who we are collaborating with, and together we are making our customers successful. Organizations using Zooper has seen tremendous results. Within 90 days of using Zooper, they can see the benefits that are listed here. And these are just some of the benefits. Most importantly, they are able to save at least three hours per user per day, which is huge. They're improving their productivity and utilization. They're reducing the time taken to schedule and dispatch. A lot of the customers that use Zooper, their starting problem is scheduling and dispatching. And with our experiences, we enable businesses to offer the best experience to their dispatchers. There's one large enterprise customer who have been using Zooper. Prior to using Zooper, they were spending about 15 hours a day to schedule and dispatch work orders for the next day. Once they started using Zooper, that time shrunk to about 15 minutes a day, where their dispatchers are just looking to ensure that the automated smart dispatching that Zooper offers has dispatched to every possible scenarios, and the dispatchers have a chance to override in case if they want to change something. But that is essentially it. All that manual effort of using Excel to manage skills, to manage different aspects of scheduling, those are all taken away, those are all gone. There are no longer manual steps that are required. The system is able to smart schedule and dispatch based on skill sets, based on availability of technicians, based on many other parameters that the organization wants to uh, configure in the system. 15% average increase in bookings because the scheduling has become streamlined. Now organization is able to take more work. And as I said, doing more with less is the theme. And we ensure that organizations are able to improve their productivity and able to do more with less. And these are some of the incredible stats. Um, we started operational in 2018. It's been four incredible years of operations with Zooper, serving thousands of customers around the globe. We now handle over 600,000 jobs every month with close to seven and a half million of jobs in a year. We introduced the invoicing and payment capabilities about eight months back. We have already handled three million plus payments and transactions through our system. We track over 2,000 assets on the platform. Our customers add thousands of notes to the jobs and work orders. We integrate with all these other amazing applications. There are 350 million API calls that the system handles or the platform handles in a month. And we are serving customers in over 30 countries and the numbers are growing by the day. And in terms of momentum, we are the G2 winter 2022 leader. We have been amazing. Our customers love us. We have been G2 winner for mid-size mid field service management or mid-market field service management. We have grown our active user base to over 100% in the last 12 months. We have an amazing new brand, new team, tremendous new power. We have received over $25 million investment in the last 12 months from some of the largest investors globally. And we have grown our business to over 10x 
in the last 18 months. And this is again just the beginning. The opportunity is tremendous. It's a $1 trillion opportunity that we are after. There are many industries that we serve. At a top level, we serve residential services, commercial services like facility and property maintenance and management. We serve manufacturing organizations. And last but not the least, renewable energy is a huge, huge segment. It's a new age segment. And Zuper is used by lots of solar solutions, EV players globally to ensure that they're differentiating the business and offering from the rest of the providers out there. About Zuper, we started this company, we registered the brand in 2016. We started operational in 2018. And I'm super proud of the founding team that offers complementary skill set. Each one of us have experience and expertise in the areas and we are enabling organizations transform their business. And a very strong executive leadership team. Each one of the executive leaders in the company make us all proud of them. Uh, Rob Friedman, our head of growth, Michael Israel is co-hosting with me, head of field service evangelism, Carmen Williams, head of product marketing, Rashid, head of industry solutions, Nick, head of US sales, Arvind, head of finance, and last but not the least, Matt Schills, he is part of our advisory board. Matt Schills is the former CEO of DocuSign and have grown DocuSign to a billion dollar business. And we are super proud to associate with Matt Schills who are helping us out in an advisory role. I mentioned about our amazing investors. Fuse Ventures based out of Seattle, they are our lead investor. Sequoia Capital is one of the investors and we all know about Sequoia, we love Sequoia. They are one of the leading investors worldwide investing on some tremendous company and we have the backing of companies like Fuse and Sequoia. Prime Ventures was with us from very early days and we are super proud of our association with Prime Ventures. And then HubSpot Ventures, I mentioned that HubSpot is not just an ecosystem partner, they are a strategic investor in Zuper. And one of the reasons why they have invested in Zuper is because of the complementary value that we add to the community and the ecosystem that HubSpot is creating. And we are attracting many other such strategic investors who are willing to help us in this journey to create the best field service management capability out there. Spoke a lot about the macro world and the business environment. Spoke about how Zuper is helping in this situation, the platform, the community. I'll give a quick peek on the product roadmap. And when we think about our product roadmap, there are different aspects that governs how we form that product roadmap. The most important one is the feedback from our customers. We talk with a lot of customers customers that are using the product, customers that are prospects, customers that we survey. And that gives us a great perspective and purview of what kind of features and capabilities are required by our customers. Secondly, we are continuing to innovate in a highly competitive area. Our goal is to differentiate from existing solutions out there and offer the best capability to our customers. And all of these go into driving the product roadmap and forming our backlog for the next six months, next one year, and so forth. And here are some of the areas where we are going to invest heavily. We have been getting a lot of feedback about complex project management. There are organizations that use Zuper not just for break fixes and maintenance, but for longer term projects. These could be an installation project that can go in for weeks and months. And those require complex project management capabilities. We are working on some of these project management capabilities that we are going to bring in, in the next little while. 
our customers and their users, the users on the field, they collect a lot of important information. It could be images, it could be audio files, it could be video files, documents, all these get annotated. And there is a scenario where businesses want to be able to discover all these digital content and assets that are uh, captured from the job site. They want to be able to share and reuse and repurpose them. And they want to gain rich insights out of all these contents and information collected on field. We are building the service catalog or the digital service catalog for all these organizations so that they can easily discover the information, they can share the information, they can reuse the information and gain rich insights. We are introducing the term autonomous field service management. Traditionally in field service management, it is enabling organizations to move from manual operations to digital operations. But as I mentioned earlier, it is not just that. It is about optimizing and automating your workflows and powering your workflows. We are taking to the next level where based on the information and insights that the system is collecting, we are going to be able to automate most of the scenarios and workflows that will enable organizations to improve productivity and utilization and gain rich data and insights further to feed back into the system and make it a continuous loop to continue that improvement. And Zuper is going to help on those. We are bringing new experiences on a mobile app and web application. We are calling that mobile application and web application 2.0. And again, these are based on the feedback that we have been receiving from our customers. The feedback around enabling more flexibility and customizability. Web application 2.0 is going to do exactly that. You know, there are a lot more flexibility and customizability that will be in the website 2.0. Mobile application 2.0 will offer rich capabilities in offline mode. We are going to have better experiences on different device types like tablets. And we are also going to introduce more capabilities into our FinTech offering on field service management. We have seen great results and success with our payments and invoicing where businesses have captured or have transacted over $3 million worth of payments through the system. But we are also been getting a lot of feedback that business wants to do B2B payments through the system, where they want to make payments to their contractors and vendors through our system. And we are going to bring in some of those capabilities in the product as well. And there are a lot more. Last year in 2021, we added 250 new features in the platform. This year, we have added over 300 features and capabilities in the platform. We are bringing in new features and capabilities on a weekly basis. And this enables us to continue offering strategic capabilities to our customers, to our partners, to the community, to ensure that we help our customers with this digital transformation journey. With this, I want to hand over to Michael Israel, Head of Evangelism in Zuper, to talk us through the future of field service. Thank you, Anand. <clears throat> um, let me start with a little bit of history. Uh, you could back up one, Anand, please. <clears throat> a little bit of history about field service. I started in the field service business when I was 19 years old, went to work for IBM Field Engineering, working as a night dispatcher and a parts room clerk. I've spent my entire life in field service in one fashion or another. It wasn't so long ago that field service was thought of as a uh, necessary afterthought. Uh, the, the, the king was selling products and service was kind of secondary. Oh, we sold a product. Now we have to take care of it. But then companies began to realize in the 90s and the early 2000s that, hey, service can really be a significant revenue generator, a significant profit generator, and even more importantly, a significant um, impact can have a significant impact on customer satisfaction, customer retention and future customer sales. So research has shown that field service in many, many instances contributes 25% or more to overall corporate revenue. And in many instances as well, contributes half or more to corporate profit. So field service has become an integral strategic part of operations for 
most companies today. Anand, you can advance the slide, please. So field service has evolved from what I just described to uh, from being a necessary evil to being a necessary component of uh, revenue generation and customer satisfaction. Field service has typically in the past been largely uh, been largely oriented towards reactive break fix services, but organizations are moving more and more towards predictive and proactive services in their field service organizations. In other words, being able to identify in advance when something is likely to break or fail or when something is, something is likely to require some service so that you can proactively take, uh, take action rather than waiting for the customer to call and say, hey, my, my machine broke, my refrigerator broke, my lathe broke in my manufacturing shop, you can actually um, proactively predict when that may happen. That is a more common uh, field service uh, method today to try to act proactively and in a predictive fashion. Organizations are also very, very interested and are moving dramatically and rapidly towards outcome-based service, outcome-based service contracts specifically, where you're not just guaranteeing a customer that, gee, I will be on site to fix your problem within two hours, or where you're not just anticipating a problem that may develop in a piece of equipment through the use of AI or machine learning, but you're also guaranteeing the customer the outcome that they're going to receive from the product. In other words, uh, you're guaranteeing the customer that, for example, they may have 99.9% .9 uptime. That is the outcome of the service that you're providing. Or you're guaranteeing the customer that their throughput, their productivity will be such and such a number or will be within uh, a certain percentage of what the maximum output would be for a piece of equipment if it had no failures whatsoever. Potentially even guaranteeing the customer a certain level of consistent revenue month over month based upon the throughput and the output of the equipment uh, that they are using. So organizations have moved from services not important to being uh, an organization that provides predominantly break fix, often for a profit, for a fee and for a profit, profit to being proactively organ uh, pre proactive in predicting potential failures and acting upon those potential failures to resolve them before they actually become a failure and ultimately to outcome-based services where they're guaranteeing customers certain levels of performance in their business. So that is how field service has evolved and continues to evolve and Zuper supports all of those activities. So if we could move ahead one more slide, please Anand. Zuper is promoting the concept of completed service work. Completed service work means that your service that you're providing is not done when you finish the, the job at hand until you anticipate the customer's next need or the next question or the next request or the next uncertainty. And you address that customer's concern, question, uncertain, uh, uncertainty request in advance proactively before they even have to ask. So for example, a simple example, if I am a landscaper taking care of a residential uh, uh, irrigation system, uh, a, a completed service step would be to perhaps suggest to the customer that if you adjust your watering schedule down by a day or two, that the plants that you're irrigating, watering on a regular basis would still have sufficient water to thrive but you would save money and save water usage by making that adjustment. Or if you are a field service engineer working on a CNC controlled lathe machine in a manufacturing facility, and you suggest after you've done a preventive maintenance, for example, and you suggest to the operator a certain method of doing things or a certain safety precaution that the operator could take, that's being proactive in providing completed service work. And that activity perhaps could save the operator from a catastrophic accident down the road. So this idea of completed service work came out of the United States Army in the 1950s, actually. And it was something called completed staff work. And as you can see here, 
The definition of completed staff work is it is a principle of management which states that the subordinates are responsible for submitting written recommendations to their superiors that are so thoroughly complete that the superiors need nothing to need to do nothing further other than sign the document. I took that philosophy and thought, well, that doesn't just apply to the written word. That applies to service itself and how you behave in service situations and the kinds of service that you provide. So we have coined the term, as I mentioned earlier, completed service work, and we are promoting that heavily. And once again, the Zuper product enables uh, organizations to have completed service work as part of their processes, part of their philosophy, part of their culture. Zuper enables organizations to define checklists, task lists, recommended actions, workflows, et cetera, that, that um, facilitate completed staff work or completed service work and make sure the completed service work steps are followed. If you could move on one more slide, please, on it. Now, we will also be organizing or uh, launching a website shortly called www.completedservicework.com. And in this website, we will feature stories about completed service work successes, completed service work failures, where people can learn from their failure. We will have expert commentary and forums in the, uh, in the website. So once again, this is something we're really looking, to, looking forward to uh, promoting heavily uh, going forward. And I think if you want to learn more about completed service work, I would encourage you to go to the, uh, the Zuper website. Go to resources, drop down to podcasts, and you will find a very detailed podcast about completed service work between me and David Knorr of the Knorr Group in one of the podcasts. So I would encourage you to listen to that. It's very, very informative and we'll tell you more about where we're going with completed service work. Anand, next slide, please. So I'm going to turn it back over to Anand now, and Anand is going to introduce another new concept that we're promoting, Zuper Partner Connect. And with that, Anand, I'm going to drop off because I need to host the follow-up the next session. So thank you very much for allowing me to participate today, and thank you to all the people that are listening in for your interest and your participation. Have a great day. Thank you, Michael. Just wanted to spend a little bit more time on completed service work. As Michael said, this is something that we are building in the DNA of our organization. Every interaction, every task, every piece of work that we perform as an organization, we want to embed the philosophy of completed service work. And we are going to share the best practices of completed service work with the community so that the entire community and the interactions with all our customers, it promotes this concept of completed service work. And also, as we are considering the capabilities in the platform and the product, we are going to build these capabilities to ensure that our businesses is following the best practices of completed service work when they're offering a service to their customers. Now, coming to Zuper Partner Connect, as I mentioned, this is the second edition of our Partner Connect. This is the community that we are building. We are building this tremendous community. Partner Connect is a way for us to come together, to cherish, to nurture this community, to showcase, uh, showcase our product and platform capabilities, offer thought leadership concepts, and share thought leadership concepts, and to enable and empower all of us here and ensure that collectively we are helping our customers transform their business with the right technology. We have an amazing lineup of speakers throughout the day. We have our customers who are going to come in and tell wonderful stories of how Zuper is helping them. We are going to have partners and we are having partners and these are partners who are reseller partners, system integrator partners, who will tell stories of how they are leveraging Zuper as a platform to help their customers. We are going to have our ecosystem partners who are going to talk about how we are integrating with their ecosystem and offering complementary values. 
We are also going to have industry experts and thought leaders who are going to talk about the recent trends in the industry from a service standpoint, from a field service management standpoint, and how Zuper helps. And we are going to have our team present throughout the day and be there for any kind of help that we can offer to make it a better experience for you all. And an amazing set of agenda, great speakers, as I said, great topics that we are going to talk. And through the rest of the day, we are here for whatever help that is needed to make it an amazing session for you all. With that, I want to thank you. Thank you again for being part of this journey and being there as the community and helping our customers do more with less. Thank you. We can open this up for Q&A. Great. So we are going to hang out here for a little bit. If there are any questions, you can ask those questions here in the chat or you know, throughout the day, there are booths, there are sessions where there are going to be open discussions and we will take those questions. As it comes by, you can always reach out to me in case if you have any questions or want to have a discussion. Thank you again and I hope that you have a tremendous day today. Thank you. Thank you.